Hello everyone, welcome to the Twina tutorial. In this video, we will discuss about how you can send push notification using Firebase console. Okay, so first of all, we need to go to the Firebase console, which is firebase.google.com. And then when we go here, we click on go to console button. And then after that, click on any of the project that you want to go into. Okay, now I'm already here in my project and then after opening your project go to engage and click on the messaging menu option here i'm already on the messaging option here so that's how it looks like okay so now if you want to send a push notification click on this new campaign button okay and select notifications option now make sure that you are not selecting in-app messaging because that's a totally different option so let me click on the notifications option here and then you see I have a nice view here with all the previews and everything that how my how my post notification will look like okay now I'm entering the notification title here like summer cell or something okay and then after the notification description so it will be like sending some tacos your way Please check it out like this okay so you see that's how our notification will look like when user will receive it okay now next thing is entering the notification image so if you will upload this image then it will only Android users will receive it iOS users won't receive it now the next thing is notification name so you want to if you want to give any unique name to your notification just give it this is purely for your identification purpose it this information won't be available for the user so i am keeping it blank for now and then next now we need to decide target here so first thing in the target we have to select an option uh, as an application that which application you want to select so first of all, let's select our iOS application that I want to select my iOS application, target my iOS application users. Also, I want to, if I want to target another application, then I can select my Android application as well, like this. Okay. If don't, then you can only send iOS, not, uh, iOS notification to iOS users. You can send notification to iOS users only, and you can not include Android users. So it's totally up to you. Now, on top of this, if you want to add an extra conditions, for example, then you can include that using and here and select that what kind of country, user audience or whatever it is, right? So you can select language as well. So maybe any of the languages that this language users, I want to send a notification to. Uh, you can select country as well, that if the user is from this country, then send notification to those users right so you can totally decide your segmented audience here okay so i'm not including this option here i'm also removing android app for now and keeping only ios now cl click on the next from the scheduling menu you will be able to schedule your notification either you keep it as now or you schedule it or you can set up a recurring notification as well if you want schedule will give you a calendar here to select a specific date and time that how when and where where uh, when you want to send the notification okay so i'm keeping it as now for now and then next and now the conversion event so for example when user click on this events click on the push notification sorry if you want to track something right then you can decide and you can create these events under your analytics firebase analytics here and then you can decide that okay when user will click on it i want to track it as this event so i'm keeping it blank for now next and then additional options here so for example if you want to also provide an option that where user click on the push notification right you want them to redirect to a specific url in in the application so you can do that as well under the custom data enter url url as a key and then in the value enter whatever url want to use so for example if i'll use this url nutrivolt.it right then 
whenever user will click on the notification it will send users to this particular url so you can decide that as well now for the sound you can decide that you want to make it disabled or enabled mostly i prefer doing it enabled apple beige as well if you want to keep it enabled disabled i prefer doing this as well Base count one and expires means if user if for any reason user won't receive a push notification or if there will be a retry is required right then within how many time how much time it should be expired okay now after you do all these things click on the review okay review your information here and then publish it as soon as you publish your notification okay firebase will schedule the push notification and then it will send the push notification to all of your users probably within 10 to 15 minutes so if you don't get it immediately in your mobile device don't worry about it because it might take around 10 to 15 minutes here so let's wait for some time and i'll show you that when the user will get a notification how it will look like so i just received a push notification and let me open my mobile here and you see that's how our push notification looks like and when i click on it it will open our application like this thank you for watching this video and you can also see that we have selected one base here and gave, gave it a counter one so it also displayed counter one here okay so yeah that's it for this video thanks for watching the video i'll see you in the next tutorial thank you